Hey guys, Salem here, and you guys know that I love Harry Potter. Absolutely love Harry Potter. I even have a very, very special wand. It is Snape's wand. I absolutely love it. And, well, a lot of you have been asking me to do Pottermore, so... I decided to do all of them in one go, so I've got a brand new account, because I do have another account actually, because of course I've already done this, um, but, but I'm going to do it again for you guys, um, and we are going to discover our sorting house, our Patronus, and our wand. Uh, so, without further ado, I think we should start with the house. Um, so we should go here, and we should go sorting out the sorting ceremony. Apparently, we went to the wrong one. Okay. Oh, okay. Moon or stars? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go with moon because I really love the moon. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you? Proceed with caution, keeping one hand concealed on your concealed wand and an eye out for a disturbance. Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Withdraw to the shadows and await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. That's such a Hermione thing. Um, um, what would I do? I don't know. Maybe... I'd, mm, I'd probably like draw my wand and try to discover because I'd probably be quite defensive. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm hiding. I would probably be more like, hey, what's going on? I need to find out what this is. Um, so yeah, probably that one. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignored. Okay, so hungry, well, you can deal with that, can't you? Just have a drink of water. <laughs> cold, I hate being cold. I really do hate being cold. Loneliness, I love my own company. I can't even say that. I spend most of my days by myself when, like, Wonder Wars at work and the kids are at school, so uh, that's not an issue for me. Boredom, I do I struggle with boredom? No, because I'd get a book and I'd read being ignored. Um... That really gets to my gets on my nerves if like I know someone needs to respond to me and they haven't and that gets on my nerves but then I do it to people as well because I forget to read my messages maybe cold I'm gonna go cold um, given the choice would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love glory wisdom or power well I think actually that wisdom would give me all of those things so because you need to be wise to have power. You need to be wise to have, to love. You need to be wise to be kind of important. I, I don't know, I'm gonna go with wisdom because that's kind of, yeah. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh my gosh, how many? A tabby cat, a Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a well, I'm not even going to go any further because I know for a fact I'd take a black cat. <laughs> uh, one black cat, two black cats. I love my black cats. What kind of instruments most pleases your ear? Violin. I used to play the violin, actually. The trumpet, the piano, or a drum. That would be a close call between a violin and a piano. Because a piano is a magical sound and so is a violin. Um... I'm gonna go with a piano because I, I do really love pianos. I can't play one, but I can lie like them. <laughs> uh, what are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition. They be they be the a being able to materialise and dematerialise it. Well that'd be quite cool. Transfiguration. I always had a fascination with transfiguration. I think that would be it. But let's have a look. Flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes, all about oh magical creatures. That kind of goes in with the trans uh, transfiguration because I love the magical creatures. Secrets about the castle, every area of magic that I can. I don't know, it's all about magical creatures or transfiguration. 
I'm going to go with magical creatures because I really would like me to meet those. Uh, black or white? Uh, black. Um, because... Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, sorry, most of you guys know I am a Snape fan. And Snape is, of course, a Slytherin. I love Slytherin. I don't like Malfoy. I don't like his buddies. But I love Slytherin. I There's something about it. I just love it. Yeah, that is amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so I am a Slytherin. Um, let's discover... Well, we can't do a Patronus without a wand, so let's go with the wand first. Um, let's go. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you, this very important... Blah, blah, blah. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short, or tall? Actually, I'm just average. I'm not really short, and I'm not really tall, so I'm just average. Your eyes, dark brown. My eyes are blue. Uh, so we'll go with that. Which day were you were born? An odd number. I was born on the 21st. Um, pride yourself on kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination. <sighs> Do you most pride yourself on your kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality. Um, hmm. Well, my imagination can run wild with me sometimes. I'm quite kind, I think. Resilience, meh. I don't know. Intelligence, reasonably intelligent, but sometimes stupid. <laughs> originality, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with I'm not very original, not really. Hence me doing this video like 50 million years after it came out. Um, I'm gonna go kindness. Okay, traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, right towards the castle? Well, I've always had a fascination with water. Um, so I'm going to go with the sea because I do love watching the sea. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, heights? Um, small spaces. I really don't like being in a small space. I'm quite claustrophobic. Um, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? The ornate mirror, the dusty bottle, the golden key, Silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel, or black glove. I don't think I'd pick the mirror, or the bottle, or the key. I think it would be a silver dagger or the glittering jewel. A silver dagger. Only because, I, I, again, it's like a mystical, magical item, isn't it? It's like, I don't know, like piratey, glittering jewel. I'm going to go with the silver dagger. Oh, willow wood with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half inch, and quite bendy and flexible. Okay, so dragon string heart core, I like that. Okay, so what else can we go with? Let's go with our Patronus. This should be interesting. Oh, let's do the magic, do the magic. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's go, let's do this. Think of your happiest memory. Okay, I'm thinking of my happiest memory. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys. Sun, wind, or rain? Um, sun. Even though I do love the rain, I love, I love different kinds of rain. Like, it's got to be really, really heavy. And I love it. But I do like the sunshine. Warm or cold? Warm. I don't want to be cold. But I do like snow. See, this is really hard. Because I could give a million different answers for different reasons. Under, over, or around? Um, over. I'm going to go over things. I like to see up above. Oh, what's that? Have we done it? Something is trying to emerge from your wand. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. You're stopping me. 
what is it? Together or alone? Oh, I don't know. I love my friends, but I love my own company. I'm going to go with alone. Prepare to meet your Patronus. Um, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Mind, heart, spirit. 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 It's got to be the spirit. Your mind and your heart are always better when you have a good spirit. Okay, what is it? Click and drag for release of your deposit. What is it? What is it? <gasps> oh, it's a deer hound. Oh, that's beautiful. I just got goosebumps. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I'm gonna keep staring at that all day. That is beautiful. I wanna do it again! I wanna do it again! Oh, it's so gorgeous! I love it. I love it, guys. Well, I guess that's it. So, we have discovered that Salem belongs in Slytherin House, of course. <laughs> Um, my Patronus is a deer hound, and my wand is made with a willow wood and dragon heartstring. That's because pretty amazing, and come on. This is great. I love it. This is like the perfect thing I could ever have wished for to come out of the Pottermore website. <laughs> I'll leave the links in the description for you guys to go and do your um, quizzes. Let me know in the comments what your um, results are and if you got the same as me then you're pretty awesome. If you didn't, watch out. <laughs>